Hey, welcome back to the lab. Today I decided that I'm going to do a second run through of Legendary Encounters Alien. Uh, but this time, uh, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Uh, the second scenario was just uh, screaming to be played. Uh, considering it's, in my opinion, the best movie in the series, uh, it's probably going to be one of the most interesting uh, scenarios in in this deck building game. So I've chosen uh, two different avatars um, that I did in the first run through. So the first one is a scout. So I believe his uh, his special ability card allows us to scan a uh, any room in the complex. And here we have a technician and he's got a, uh, a skill card, right tool for the right job. I don't recall exactly what it is, but we'll draw it anyway, that this one does. Um, so that should, that should certainly change things up compared to the last game that we played. Uh, we've got three objectives in this scenario, just like we did in the first one. However, we have a new location. So the new location for this playthrough is called Hadley's Hope. And for any of you that have seen the movie Aliens, uh, you probably know that Hadley's Hope is the name of the colony that the Marines were sent to to, uh, to check out because they lost contact with it. Uh, the first objective we're going to play through is called the Lost Colony. And the objective is to kill three col colonist hosts. Uh, it has an event for low visibility, which we'll go through as we start drawing through the hive deck. So The setup for this game is very similar to... To the way we set up the first scenario, so we've got got our hive deck built based on the the individual decks for each of the objectives. Uh, the strike deck is the same strike deck we used last time, just reshuffled, obviously. However, this time we have uh, four new crew members uh, from. They're all characters from the the second movie in the Alien series, so they're they're pretty cool. I've only done this scenario once, uh, and I didn't do too well in it, I'll be honest. So hopefully for this playthrough I can uh, I can get a victory here. But I, I, I definitely wanted to play through it at least one time before uh, uploading a video on it because there are some card mechanics in this scenario that are different from the ones that we saw in the first scenario. So uh, I wanted to make sure that I understood how those how those played out in this game as well as some fa how some of the uh, objective events and hazards come out and how they affect us. So. Uh, I think that is pretty much it. So I've got my my little miniature so I can keep track of uh, my turn and which character is going so I don't lose track of that. And I think I can jump right into seeding the HQ. Alright, so here we got Private Hudson. We've got Corporal Hicks. We've got a Bishop. Got another bishop, and we have a Ripley enraged Lieutenant Ripley. So those are our four characters for this playthrough. For probably my for my favorite characters from the uh, I'd say from the entire series, especially in this in this second movie. The crew symbol is also different for this playthrough in this deck. So we've got this um, little Tari looking symbol, which is uh, the Sulaco, which just so happens to be the transport ship that's that's under these cards that was used in the Aliens movie that actually that the Marines were transported in on the big ship not the little ones that hit the that took them down to the planet but the big one that stayed up in space so we have our deck seated I think we're all set and ready to go remember our first objective is to kill three colonist hosts so those will probably be, as always, somewhere in the hive deck and will come out uh, while we start to seed the complex. So let's, uh, let's get right to it. Alright, so we'll start out with the scout. I'll draw up my six card hand. And we will jump into our turns. So we've got the first phase is always the hive. So we've got our first visitor. And our normal hand. So basic hand basic starting hand, typically boring. 
mix of uh, combat. So this two combat's not going to do me any good because we've got nothing to scan at this point. But I do have four recruit points, so I will probably jump right in and start and start soaking up some some combat cards. Uh, so these got some pretty interesting um, abilities here. So with this close encounters Corporal Hicks. He's got this two asterisk, and during his turn, the next time you fight an enemy in the combat zone, it gets minus two attacks. So this is kind of a new ability we haven't seen yet. But there goes my four recruit, and there's nothing in the strike uh, combat zone for strike, so there's no strike phase. And the cleanup would be me discarding and drawing up six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that would be the end of the scout's turn, and we move on to the technician. Alright, at the start of the technician's turn, we are going to draw up one, two, three, four, five, six cards for his starting hand. And we'll jump into the turn order. So, high phase. And action. So, let's see what we have. We have got and three combat, so three of these grunts, and three of these specialists. So, three attack is enough to scan here. So, we'll do that. Make sure we start revealing things. All right, and what we've got is a Xenomorph Swarmer uh, reveal. Add a Hive card to the complex. So right off the bat, we are starting to see more aliens. So we're going to want to take him out. He's only a two combat, so that one's, that's kind of an easy one. So hopefully our uh, scout can take him out. And we've got three recruit points. And we will recruit... I think, we'll, again, I want to get some combat, so this is one where we can we can use the uh, crew symbol to trigger another additional attack point for Private Hudson. You want some of this card? And uh, I think that's going to be it. So that's that. There's our three combat spent. We will look to see if there's anything in the combat zone. Nothing there. Uh, so no strikes, and we'll do our cleanup, which is discard and draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we are done with our technician. Back to the scout. And let me repopulate this. All right, so our scout's turn. We start with the hive phase. So we've got almost a full complex now. And let's see if we can try to thin this out a bit. All right, so we've drawn <clears throat> the reconnaissance. So this is the this is the scout's special card, so it allows us to draw a card, and then once this turn, you may scan any room. So that's a pretty powerful ability. So we'll draw up a card, and then we're going to scan a room. And I think we'll scan the four, because that's the most expensive, so let's get that one out of the way. And we get a colonist host. Alright, so this is one of our objective cards. And the colonist host says, this enemy does not move or strike. So this is like, uh, like one of the egg cards from the first from the first scenario. And, the event, and on an event card, we kill this enemy and put the top card of the hive deck face down in its place. So it only has one hit point, so we can kill this pretty easily, and I think we want to do that if we can. So let's see what we can do now. We have three combat points. Three combat is enough to take these both out, and I think we're going to do that. So we'll play one, two, three combat, so two takes care of this uh, Xenomorph Swarmer, so he's dead. And we will kill our colonist host, the first one. So this one's dead. So we've killed one, and we are one-third of the way to completing the first objective. Not too shabby. Three recruit points, what do we want to buy? Alright, so we will... It's going to be one of these two guys, because I am not, if I can help it, buying any sergeant cards this game, because that was sort of my demise last, last playthrough. So we're going to, we're going to hold off on that as, as long as possible. But we've got a, she's here as a consultant, Lieutenant Ripley card, and a critical analysis bishop card. And this one has a technology symbol on it that combos to, you may discard a card from your hand, and if you do, you draw two cards. So do I want to go tech on this guy? I'm not sure. Uh, I think... I think we'll do that. Because it's going to give us two recruit points, and that's not a bad thing, necessarily. So we'll recruit him. And this one... allows us to... 
discard this card to get two recruits. This is a vigilant, uh, vigilant description. So this is like a certain um, new effect that this card has called vigilant. And uh, as soon as I buy one of these cards, I draw it. I'll explain how that works. But it's a pretty neat little mechanic, and it, it really changes things up. This one here, Knife Games, is pretty cool, actually. Um, the first effect on playing this card is draw a strike. And if you play a card with the survival symbol before this, it allows you to ignore the above text, meaning you don't draw a strike, but it does four damage. So this is a pretty powerful attack. Um, but you know, if you don't have a combo on that, you could uh, end up taking a strike to give four, and I think that's kind of a pretty fair trade-off. So, not necessarily a bad thing. But, um, so his action phase is done, the strike phase now, the combat zone is empty, so there is no strike. And the cleanup phase is now, we discard our hand in one, two, three, four, five, six, we drew up our six. So overall, I'd say that was a pretty a successful turn for the scout. Let's move on to the technician. Alright, so for the technician's turn, we're gonna start with the hive and we don't move anybody over because we had cleared out the ventilation shaft, so that's that's a good thing. We're managing the, the complex pretty well now and that's good. But we're gonna need to do some more scanning if we can, so here we go. I drew the right tool for the job technician card. So draw a card and you get um, recruitment points equal to the current objective number. So we are in objective one still, and he's got the technology symbol, so that would have been a good combo for that other card we drafted, but in any case, uh, we will get to draw a card and get one recruit. So every every new objective, when we get to objective two, this will be worth two recruit points, and so on and so forth. So we'll start by playing this card, and we will take our draw, and now we'll see what we can do here. So we've got four recruit, and two attack. Well, actually, we have five recruit because of that. The two attack isn't going to do us any good because there's nothing we can scan for two this turn. But the five recruit, on the other hand, is quite nice, I think. And we are going to buy this five recruit card, which is Ripley Enraged. So if we play another strength card before her, we get plus one for each other strength character you played this turn, and she's worth three plus any of that bonus. So this is a this is a pretty good card. Again, I'm going to stack combat as much as I can because lesson learned from last game. Too much recruit, not enough attack, and as soon as those big uh, aliens start coming out, there's not much we can do to, to whittle them down. And I don't have the gunner card or the gunner avatar this time, so I don't get that you know uh, extra combat bonus that he would pull every uh, every now and again. So I'm going to have to make do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing in the strike zone, so end of turn. Back to the scout. So with the scout turn, we will start with the hive again. And now we're getting the full complex, so there's never any relief here. But we'll see what we can do. we got to start scanning. He's got two combat and four recruits, so right off the bat we're hitting the two combat and we are scanning this room. And we get our second colonist host. Well, if I had one more combat, I'd be able to uh, to take that out. I don't remember recruiting any cards with coordinate, so I'm going to try to make sure I coordinate as much as I can this game, so that we don't run into that problem like we did last time. For recruit points, I think we are going to recruit this uh, Corporal Hicks Close Encounters card. So this is the one where if there's an enemy, if we use this to attack somebody in the combat zone, it takes off two of their two of their health, so that makes them a little bit easier to kill. So we'll buy him. And we draw, she's here as a consultant again, so we got two of those guys with the Vigilant uh, trait. So we'll pick our two, three, four, five, six cards. We don't have any strikes, and we will end the scout turn. Back to the technician. So as this card says, it doesn't move and it doesn't strike, so these guys are going to hop and slide and we will draw another hive alright let's see if the technician can take care of some business here alright I have I have two combat and I not sure what I want to do here I, I know I can kill that but if I draw an event card 
I'm in trouble. Well, I'm not really in trouble. It just fills the space. You know what? Let's do this. Let's scan. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to use these two combat. And I'm going to scan this one. I don't like when things come into combat. So, oh, we pulled a hazard. Sweet. So what does the hazard do? We've got to check out our location. So our location for hazard one says, what are we supposed to use? Harsh language? Each other player discards all characters in their hand that have a printed attack of one or more. So each other player. So that would be our scout who has to do some discard. So he's got to discard every character card in his hand that has the printed cost of one or more. So a printed cost of one or more is basically anything you buy out of this pool. Um, all of our uh, starter cards are cost of zero. So he's got to discard. Wow, he had a good one too. So he's got to discard that one. So he's going to have a weak start next time. <clears throat> Not terrible. We we didn't. I can't say we necessarily wasted our attack to scan that, but we got that out of the way, and it wasn't it wasn't too brutal. But he's not going to have any attack next turn, so we're gonna we're not going to be able to scan anything. Um, we have four recruits, so we will start. Let's start taking these knife games. We'll build up build up his combat as much as we can. And we have I will never leave you Ripley card, which is uh, another vigilant uh, effect, which. Like I said, I will go through. <clears throat> so we have no... jeez, oh we have no, um... No enemies in the combat zone, so we do not have to worry about taking a strike this round, which is good. So we've been, we've been just hanging in there. Uh, I think we're gonna be a little... A little worse for wear once this, this complex fills in, because... They're gonna start hitting us. I know he doesn't have any combat, so that's gonna be that's gonna be a problem. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, so he's done. We're gonna jump back over to the scout. So with the scout, we're gonna start by doing a little hop and slide again, and see what we can do with this guy's hand. All right, so we have reconnaissance. This is this is great that we have this. So at least it lets us draw a card, right? And also, once this turn, I'll let you scan any room. So let's draw a card. Ah, we didn't even get combat. I was hoping to get more combat so I can do some more. So I've got one combat here. I'm going to use it to take this out. That way we can clear that area. So that's two colonist hosts. Two-thirds of the way done. I have one combat point left. Uh, I'm going to use... It says, once this turn, you may scan any room. Let's scan in this and see what's coming. So we have an event card. And our event... So we got rid of that uh, colonist host. So we don't have to do that, that event. But we do have an event card on our objective. So it's just low visibility. So attach the event card to the room it was revealed in. So it was revealed in the airlock. <clears throat> so this goes on our airlock and it's going to stay there. And the event's low visibility. So uh, what's going to happen is it costs twice as much combat to scan a low visibility room. So any any of our enemies that get into this room, it's going to cost me four combat to scan instead of two. So that's going to stay in play um, during this whole objective. So not not horrible. We can deal with it. We're not we're not getting overrun right now, so I'm not too worried about that. We have three recruit points, and I think we're going to buy this Ripley card, which I'll explain this now. So this is a, has the Vigilant effect on it. So this has, as you see, no combat, but it's got a little asterisk, and it's because it's got a Vigilant effect. When I draw this card into my hand, and, and I'm playing the cards that round, I will actually lay this card down next to my, my Avatar card, and at any point after that, any turn later on, this card can stay out there until I want to use the effect on it. And by using the effect, I would discard this and it would give me two attacks. So it's sort of a way to store up uh, combat points for a round where you actually need a little bit of extra boost. So it's like kind of reserving your own little uh, coordinate ability, which is uh, definitely helpful. So that's that's a good card to get. So I've got two cards i got to draw up to my six, but... We have a pretty clear com complex right now. I think if I can get some uh, attack cards with my tech, we can uh, we can get in business here and start to see what's coming coming down the pipeline. Hopefully, we'll find that other that other host soon and then end 
this objective and move on to part two. So I've got one, two, three, four to draw. That. And we are done with our scout. Back to the technician. So start off with our hive. We got four in the complex now and nothing in the dark room. We have a couple of decent cards here. So we have this, you want some of this Private Hudson, but we don't have another uh, Sulaco crew member to trip to combo him with, so he's only going to be worth one combat. But I have a pretty good combat hand this round. So I've got one, two, three, four combat. So let's jump right in and scan this two combat. And we pull another event, so we know what that means. We know that means that is another dark room. And it's going to cost me four combat to scan that. So I used up two of my four combat. I've only got two left. So I don't have enough to scan that three room. But I do have two recruit points and nothing worth recruiting. Everything is too expensive. So that's going to that's gonna end our technician turn. I'll draw up his six cards. And pass the torch back over to the scout. So on the scout turn, we're going to slide everybody forward. Now this guy's in a low visibility room. So we're going to have to pay double the scan. We have one, two, three, four, five, six recruit and one attacks. So I can't I can't reveal anything, so that attacks as good as garbage. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, but that's good for recruit. I think what I will do is grab this. They're all around us, Private Hudson. So this is a, this is a coordinate card. So once it's turned, you may scan the airlock or ventilation shafts uh, for his coordinate ability. He gives up, you would give up your attack on it to use it for someone else, but it lets you scan the airlock, which is here, or the ventilation shafts, which is here. So not a bad, a bad play if you're, you're okay with giving up those two combat points to help another player scan. But that's all he can do, unfortunately. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not even going to bother with the strike phase because there, nothing's been in the combat zone. So we'll go back to the technician. All right. So now we're facing a full, a full complex. So I need, absolutely need to scan something this round. So let's see if the technician has enough combat to do so. Oh, I do. Okay. Oh wow. Well, yeah, we have quite a bit. So. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a uh, what is that symbol? That is the, the survival symbol. So I don't have a survival symbol, so I'm going to have to draw a strike if I play this for combat, but I think I will do that anyway because it's, it's pretty strong. But what I'll do to start is I'm going to play... You no, know let me do this. I'm going to play him. He's worth four combat. I will draw a strike onto my technician and we get a double slash draw another strike one damage awesome so I'll store that here under him so that's that's one one strike and we draw a second which is the next player also draws a strike okay so I think everybody's gonna share in the pain this round and our scout gets a contaminated wound that can't be healed so that actually wasn't very good at all uh, okay, so we've got four combat, so I hope this was worth it. And we have a Meddlesome Xenomorph. On death, you may scan any room. That's actually not bad. He's worth four combat. Actually, that's going to cost me all four because that is a uh, dark room. This one costs, this one will give me three combat. So I'm going to scan the weapons locker and I pull a Noxious Xenomorph. Reveal, players have minus one uh, total health this turn. So we're not near death, so that's not really gonna gonna impact us too bad. So we have four more recruit points, and we will take I think the other knife games card, so that hopefully we can start comboing these. I'm gonna have to start looking for these survival symbols because I do not want to take that kind of woundage next round or next time I play that card because <clears throat> as you see, one wound became three real quick. I've got four cards to draw from. Let's refill the HQ. And we have a Corporal Hicks card. This is a pretty cool card, so we'll, uh, I'll explain that one once we, once we scoop that one up. 
<clears throat> Looks like we're going to get our first visitor in the combat zone this round, so that's, uh, that's going to be fun. Alright, so we'll get his six. His turn is over. Alright, so we are going to start with the scout. And we will bring him down. But he's going to let us scan a room for free once we kill him, so I'll scan that one because it's so expensive. All right, let's see if we have enough to kill this uh, this meddlesome Xenomorph. Uh, okay, good. We have this Reconnaissance card, so draw a card. Once this turn, you may scan any room. So we'll draw our card, and we're not going to scan our room yet. I'll save that for later. Let's see what we can play first. So we've got, all right, so we've got this uh, Vigilant card, uh, which we will place down on the table next to our scout. And that's worth two combat whenever I want to use it. Um, but the, the, the trick with these Vigilant cards is the, I'm playing them now, so now I can take advantage of these uh, symbols, so like that Strength symbol or the Crew symbol. But if I play her Vigilant ability on any of my uh, next turns, the next few turns, I don't get to re -act, you know, activate another card's ability based on those. It's only good for the first round you play it. So, so she's done. <clears throat> so we've got one, two, three, four, five combat. So that is... Oh, okay, cool. You know what? This is where he comes in handy, this close encounters. During this turn, the next time you fight an enemy in the combat zone, it gets minus two attack. So I'm going to fight him. He's going to go minus two to two, and this is a two combat, so he alone, Corporal Hicks, is going to smoke this meddlesome Xenomorph, and he's going to let me scan any room. So that's a nice play. And I'm going to scan this room with that ability. And we get a Xenomorph Swarmer. Reveal. Add a Hive card to the complex. That's exactly what I wanted to see happen. Not really. Okay. That was a bad move. Now I could potentially take a strike. <clears throat> well, let me do this. I've got three combat. I have enough to do that. Uh, I played this card, so I want to, it says, you know, once this turn you may scan a room. I haven't used that scan room ability, so I'm going to do that now and scan this one. And we found our colonist host. Very nice. So, I've got three combat, and that's just enough to clean house here, I think. So here's two to kill him. And he is dead. And I've got one more combat to kill our colonist host. So we've killed three colonist hosts now. One recruit, that's not going to do anything. So let me clean this up, discard, we've essentially finished the first objective. Like I said, objective was kill three colonists, so we've done that. Um, when this objective is completed, discard the low visibility event card. So now that that objective is completed, we can discard these. Now the alien stays in the airlock where it was, but now, it, you know, now the airlock and the, the med lab are only two to scan. We have cleared the first objective and we're in, we're in pretty good shape. So let me let me draw up his six and then pass it to the technician and we'll go from there. So I think a good start so far. I say that now but things could always turn south. You see how the cards, um, the cards can turn against you really quick, especially the strikes. So we have to be very careful and, and make sure that we keep keep a good hand on uh, a good handle on this complex because it gets overrun very quickly. So we've got our six card draw one two three four five six. Okay. So his turn's over. Remember, he still has I'll move these over so it might be easier to to see. He still has this vigilant card in play. So he's gonna he's storing up that combat for later. So he didn't have to pull from that pool this turn to take care of it, but uh, if we want to do that on his next turn, we, we can always do so. So I'll move him over to the technician, and we will pick up on his turn in the next video. So see you on uh, episode two with Objective 2. Thanks for watching.